Dynasty Season 1, Episode 20. Technically, it's not really Season 1, but you know what I mean. CW, you guys have really showed out this dang on season. Make sure y'all hit like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the red button. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, 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 I know. It is audio only. How do your desk candy? Adam has been located, and Anders has a daughter named Kirby in Australia. It's a little random storyline to add at this point, it's, you know, so far into the season. But okay, I'm here for it. Before we start, how the heck is Jeff Kobe a Carrington? How is he a Carrington? How is this possible? We just have to assume his mother is Caucasian and she is Blake's sister, right? What is going on? Like, who is he related to and how? This, this, this could be just crazy if... He, he i mean i don't know i don't know where they're going with it don't gross us out cw i mean for real we're all weakened and shocked by this dang on information this was too much for me you guys el paso texas they are in texas y'all steven knocking on doors and i'm like look man watch what you're doing be careful folks have guns down in good old texas asking so many questions go get her some similac man go get that lady some infamil and just return get on her good side fool and sure enough that's exactly what he did i need an envelope i need an envelope stuff like that i'm talking stuff like thanksgiving dinner stomach you know just full of cash full of cash i really hope it's not a scam because i still wanted adam to be adopted by ewing you know merge the worlds let it let it just happen for me you know merge dynasty and Dallas wouldn't that just be epic but I don't I just don't want them to be scamming us what if they're just terrible hustlers and you know they're just out for a meal ticket I don't know I do not know but I do know Sammy your husband your fiance is gullible let's keep it real Steven is very gullible and he leads with uh his heart on his sleeve you can't trust anyone can't trust crystal and fallon mama and daddy steven and sammy i mean for real think about they will cover a death so let's not act like they didn't cover that man falling out the window keep it real we love steven and sammy but they full of it too fallon always running always running and getting played blake you dirty dog blake was too much for me y'all you know why so dang on aggressive that's fine that's sexy we love it right however he's just one step ahead and he doesn't mind screwing everybody else over in the process alexis said it at best ex-wife said it best there is no match for him that's the truth how bogus is he to public and secretly at the same time embarrass and shock his daughter and his spouse that's crazy crystal girl you sure you want to be with him like for real for real. are you sure you really want to be with blake the only thing you have right now besides him getting rid of you is to be like look boo i'm pregnant Jeff Kobe, Jeff and his boo go way back. Jeff and Fallon go way back. And it's cute, but at the same time, it's sad because Alexis, I don't know what angle she's coming at. Alexis showing that she will come at different angles that no one sees coming, pulling the whole mother knows best deal. Okay, but which mother though? Where's his mother? Is she going to show up? Because you cannot be the only one. It's much like Blake can't be the only father. You know, we see Anders coming into it now with his situation. So there can't be one. There just can't be one. That's why I'm saying I feel Crystal would uh, bring about saying, hey, I'm pregnant. Something like that has to to be developing right about now. Mike is furious. RIP to Daddy Gohan. Why blame Fallon? You know, he's just too gullible and cute at this point. Crystal, promise me. Promise me, Crystal, you will not sleep with the chauffeur. Because if you do, that's just nasty. You're just nasty, girl, at this point. Um, Blake wins for the fashions. Oh, you know, I got to give a shout-out to my homegirl in Australia. Do you know Kirby or Kiki Kiku? Do you know Kirby? I don't know, girl. I'm just saying. Blake with the blue shirt and the white collar contrast dress shirt. He looked awesome. He's basically my only person who I thought looked fly. It's super good. I mean, you give it up for Fallon with the Gucci belt. She she did her thing. Um, Mickey the driver. He gets the Hot Daddy Award. I, I, hey. Crystal with that suit. It, you know how a man's tie, like, I think I'm, I had to drop off my husband's suit at the cleaners, right, earlier. And I'm like, her, her whole suit looked like my husband's tie. Like, that's the type of material I felt. And then I felt like her suit was mixed with a little cabinet liner. You know, that cabinet liner at wall. Like, it's like contact paper. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't a fan of the suit. 
Now, the Ferrero Rocher fine ch- hazelnut chocolates cleaning crew dude, he wanted the golden experience. And you know what? Let that man put his Beats by Dre headphones on and clean up. Get those good benefits because you know Carrington Atlantic is probably paying him a whole lot of money to be sweeping and vacuuming. So I'm not mad at him. I am mad at him for snatching up that man's candy when it's expensive $10 a box candy. Like you got a lot of nerve, homeboy. Fallon. Whole thing. I mean, they stayed your life, girlfriend. They stayed your entire life. Now, if you were raised alongside Anders, you know, him in the household, him caring for your family, doing everything a major domo does or whatnot. I don't know. I didn't have a major domo. Chances are you didn't either. Chances are you don't know how to spell it and you don't know what they do. But if he was their major domo, um, you should know who Kirby is. So Kirby should be your homegirl. And at what point will she pop up at the state? I feel like it's in due, it's in due time. It's coming. Um, this was a fun episode. It was fun. It was cute. Uh, you really learned how just cutthroat and vicious Blake can be. For him to be such a young father, billionaire, playboy guy, uh, he's bitter. He's very bitter in... The only thing they could do is make him turn sick and then be appreciative for life. You know, that's kind of how I feel right now. Alexis, I don't know, honey. I don't know what angle you're coming from. And can you be trusted? Uh, I don't know. Adam, not sure if you are Adam. But you and your brother kind of look more. You are the father kind of. You know, you look alike. You look alike. We're going to have to do some Dana testing, some DNA testing. And, you know, run some things on Ancestry.com. See what it comes back saying. If Blake is the pappy of that dare baby. Until the next time you know what to do. Like I said, hit like, comment, and subscribe. This was a great episode. Episode 20. You already know. Dynasty. Watch it on CW. Thank you guys for everything. Peace.